Hi there, this is Lee from socialites.com.au and this video is to show you how to, to take the coil out of the um, clearomizer in the advanced electronic cigarette starter kit and what I'm going to do is take out um, the coil um, and show you how to replace it and put in a new one. Um, so we'll start with that first, this is the clearomizer that comes with the advanced starter kit and that's the um, battery that comes with it also. So basically, it's quite a simple thing to do. Um, you just need to hold it up that way. And it does come out from the bottom, so you unscrew the base. Like so. Um, I've already, already cleaned this one, because I've been using it today, so I cleaned it out. And these can be cleaned under um, a nice warm water. You can give that a good clean inside as well, inside the clearomizer. Clean that right out. Obviously, you need to know, and um, once it's cleaned out, you need to give it time. You can dry it with a towel, and then just give it a little time to dry out. Um, so let's get on to clear taking out the coil. Now, sometimes these coils might you may need a small set of pliers, something like that. Um, they can become a bit tight, so you just might need to unscrew it with some pliers. But this one will unscrew with my fingers because I have unscrewed it earlier. So they just unscrew like so. And there you have the actual coil. You've got five of those that come in the um, advanced kit. And when they need changing, and um, that's as simple as that, you just unscrew it um, and replace it and put a new one. Now these are actually rebuildable. It takes a little bit more technical know-how. Um, and I will go into that, into another video. Um, but not this video. All I'm doing is simply showing you how to replace it, take it out, and put a new one back in. Um, like I said, it does come with five new coils. Um, so all you then do is just get a new coil. I'm just going to put this one back in because there's still nothing wrong with it. Screw it back into there like so. It's very simple, like I said. And then just screw that back onto the base. And there you go. And while I'm here, I'll just show you, mention once more about when you're filling up the liquid. Obviously, you want to be holding the case like so. And when you do pour the liquid in, you want to make sure that it does not go down that middle hole, as you can see there. If it goes down the middle hole, um, then obviously it's just going to come straight out the bottom. And obviously if you do try and put it back onto the tank, onto the battery, it's just going to pour into the battery, which isn't going to do your battery any good. So when you fill, the, fill that up with e-liquid, it just needs to go down the side. You can see it through the, the window in the, in the clear remiser also, so you're just filling it up like so, down the side, and when it gets three quarters of the way up before it gets to the actual tube you then just screw the base back on with the, the coil, the new coil and then obviously that screws onto your battery and then you are ready to vape okay so I hope that's really helped you um, on another video I will show you how to actually remove the actual um, the actual coil head itself so you can become a rebuildable. Um, I mean, if you wanted to go down there, it's a lot of messing around, to be truthful with you. It's just easy to put new coils on. You're not messing around, putting um, new threads in there and everything like that. But I will do a video just to demonstrate how it's done if people want to know how to do that. It's not very hard, but it's just a bit of fiddling about. It's just easy to put a new coil in because they're very cheap. Um, so that will be doing that. Okay, I um, hope that's helped you, and I'll catch you again soon.